Okay, so I'll be giving my opinion on the uh, S less tier list and all that. Uh, any video that I can find related to this topic, I'll leave in the description so you can look at their uh, tier list as well. Um, now, I will be going over this very fast because I, I, this video could go on for a very long time. So, first of all, I'll be rating them on how good they are, how available they are, and overall how well they sync with other characters. Now, first of all, Eren, Eren is uh, questionably could be higher, but the way I see it is Eren's leader skill is her selling point. She does take a very long time to level up considering you need war to war warheads, no uh, zombie heads from war, blah blah blah. To level up, so she level up, so she could be there in your roster for months, not being fully maxed out, just depending on what type of playstyle you have. Now, the problem with with her, um, she does not have many people supporting her. Yes, red and green get 40% attack and huge on attack, but there's not many people that can hit hard. Krista and James, they hit all right, but the thing is, you can only really pick one of them since your second choice would have been Angel. Alpha is a premium, Gentleman is a premium, and all of them. So, not many people can accompany her. And yes, her kit isn't bad, but the fact she takes so long to upgrade, and there's not many people supporting her that are freely available, just puts her lower down the list. Marlon and Rosie, you can only get them for one event. Um, you know, if you didn't get all the tags that, or collars in that event, you're fucked. He's not fully leveled. Uh, he hits very weak, even considering his... Um, his active skill gives him 150% damage. I've even had him with that bonus. For, for tier 4. With attack mod set. With an alpha debuff. And he couldn't even kill. Or get someone down below 75% health. He just doesn't do enough damage. Hence why. If you can't tear him up. Any further because of that event. Which is very hard. He's just going to stay down there. Kapoor is next. Kapoor is our first war tune. He is not great. He's not bad. He's purely just there for stalling. And that's the only thing he's good for. Yes, he can heal. Yes, he can do a bit of maim. But that's it. He's just a stall tune overall. So next, Eugene. There's a reason you don't see many of them around and that's because he is shite. Uh, Indomitable isn't bad by any means. Um, his adrenaline rush doesn't do much and yeah. He's just a very meh character. He's a very selfish character and he does stuff for himself. And yeah, he's meh. F tier. Glenn, uh, I'm not going to talk about it. You can watch my other video if you want my perspective on it. But overall, he is absolute shit. Uh, C tier, Lao Po. Lots of people are going to be a little bit upset about this one. But uh, I'll give my opinion first. 85 AP. The slowest as out of all the S classes by a mile. Uh, you're not going to be using her on attack because she's just not going to go fast enough. The exhaust is 300, not enough to kill an Arab or a Doc, which is disappointing. And the rush isn't bad, but you, like I said, 85 AP is very slow. Now, uh, another thing is, she does have a decent leader, 30% HP, 30% defense, and some damage when uh, some AP when taking damage, which isn't bad. But it's the AP that is slowing her down and holding her back, so that's why she's in C. Not sure what... Uh what the next one's called to be honest but uh, I know for a fact he's shite um, so first of all you've got uh, the only way you can really get him is by leveling up in leagues now the people who benefit the most from this is the newer players or the mm, I don't know what you'd call it but like the people who play in the middle tier so here's here's what I'm saying you've got to be like plat 2 by the end of the season which a lot of people probably won't make it to considering there's like 200 in a league you need to make it to like top a like top 60 odd so you're a level of a 5 star or 6 star and it's a lacerator doesn't do much bleed on the adrenaline rush but does more on the active skill bit weird overall bleh not great Malcolm uh he does way too he's cost way too many comics I think it's 125 um 30% AP, no, 30% attack, and all uh, green and yellows get, um, you know, um, AP on attack. Now, Ivanova is infinitely better. Do you know why? Because she's free, doesn't cost any comics, and she doesn't. She has 10% extra attack. 
Yes, Malcolm can hold an 8%, but overall, his adrenaline rush and active skill is very meh. Not many pick him up because he's expensive and Ivan Nova does a better job. Hence, he's so low. Tiffany uh, is, pure, is just a staller, but she has a good weapon. Uh, in absolute defense, 30% defense. And she does have taunt, so you could potentially get a taunt loop going. So that's one point her in C tier instead of anything lower or higher. She can be good for a stall team. And she can get them in a loop, but that's pretty much it. She's got a good weapon, and that's it. Um, next, we've got Minerva. Uh, Minerva, she does a crazy amount of infection to two people, but it's just the two people. That's pretty much her kit. The infection of the two people. Yes, yeah, she could run multiple, but if they got a heal weapon, you're sacrificing so much damage for her when there's other characters that can do infection way better. So... Yeah, her weapon is crap. You're gonna have to replace that. Um, so yeah, like the infection is the only redeeming quality on her. Um, the outlast has never gave me any problems. She's never given me any problems at all, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, it, the infection is a little too little, and yeah, doesn't do much to uh, stand out in any particular game mode. Um, Sheila, Revive, Lacerator, that's pretty much her kit. I'll revive in the Lacerator, you know. She's a green, so not many good weapon choices. Yeah, she can hold a stun, which is bad. She can go in a bleed team, but there's better options overall. You can have um, a Geofang and then a Pete for a Revive, or, you know, there's loads more options uh, out there. So, for that reason, she's just a C tier. She's not great, she's not bad, she's just sort of there. Steve, War Champions 1, 2, no, 2, uh, War Champions 2, 2, sorry. Uh, not very widely available. Uh, recovers infection on his active skill. It's not that much to make him viable. And then you got a bit of burn on the, on the Adrenaline Rush. And he's got Fire Starter as a specialist, which is absolutely fucking useless. And then um, his weapon is alright. It does quite a bit of damage on basic attacks. Um, so next we're going to B tier quote, uh, I'll be very fast, he doesn't do a lot on his adrenaline rush, his active skill is basically if you haven't got a dock or you don't want to use a dock, that's a good replacement, Raulito is good for a bleed team, his leader skill is a lot, he has an impair on attack weapon which isn't bad, and then he does crosshairs on his, uh, active skill which isn't too bad, but you know, that's pretty much, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you got Davy. He's got uh, what's it called? I don't know. It's the thing where every time someone dies, he gets twenty percent, twenty five percent attack and defense. Oh, hold the line. That's what's called. Um, he does AOE damage, but you need to stack him out a lot. And I don't think people are gonna get him to the point where he hits so hard that it's worth him using it. Uh, his, you know, his active skills meh. His weapons meh. That's it. Clementine, I know it's going to be a controversial one again. Uh, minus 25% defense and green and yellows get 25% uh, attack on attack. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Her weapon is shite. Um, her adrenaline rush is only to one person and her active skill is meh. So after their leader skill runs out, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's the reason why she said day you. Uh, She's good for a bleed team, can really last a long time, she's really tanky, can taunt on her rush uh, and give trauma, and she can give infection on her active skill. So, yeah, she can survive a long time, she's got a bit of control. She's alright overall, but she doesn't really out. She can really stand out in any particular game mode, minus, you know, maybe a raid here and there or something like that. So, none of these characters so far really stand out in anything. Then we come on to um, Krista. Uh, personally, I like Krista. I chose her over James. On the pure fact, she hits like a truck, gives heal reduction. Active skill gives defense down. Not a lot of it, but it's alright. And her, she's got Waste Knot. Waste Knot is very useful if you can hit that hard and kill a second person for completely free. So, yeah. Pretty good. But if you can't get Waste Knot to activate, you know, it's not great. Yeah, she has slow on her rush as well. But, yeah, she's a really good red uh well red alert character that can hit hard so i'll keep her that but she just doesn't have enough going to make her go that little bit higher but overall still a solid character heng yen sort of a jack of all trades like you can use it everywhere if you want but um 
His weapon's alright, you can get crosshairs, so you can decap someone, but he's very soul focused on one person, so you stun someone, you bleed someone, and something else, it's only on one person. He's not doing multiple things at one time. If he did a bit more to two or three people, maybe he'd go up a bit higher, but as he is right now, he's a solid character, but just doesn't do enough. Wangfuss in a similar boat, his leader skill is redundant, nobody's going to use that. And uh, it's mainly the heal reduction you're using him for. Yeah, the bleed and hemorrhage is a nice little thing on the adrenaline rush, but it's not really a game changer. Hence why he's just a B tier, because majority of people are using him for the heal reduction. Lewis, uh, he can be used on attack and defense, so that's a good redeeming factor for him. Same with uh, uh, Wangfa in a sense, but uh, Lewis has a bit more to go with here. So with Lewis, he gets lots of slow, lots of slow, and a decent amount of heavy damage. So overall, it's not bad, but active skill, very bad. You can put whatever weapon you want on it, and retribution is a very hit or miss uh, specialist skill. So yeah, it's basically a damage and slow that he's got nothing really else going for him, so it's not really enough to warrant him going into the next tier, so I'll just leave him at that. Next, we've got Angel. Angel uh, could go into the A tier, but I'll go into it now. So, first of all, days, everyone turn one, and everyone gets 40% defense. So, a, a rainbow leader skill. Very nice. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's a rainbow leader skill, pretty much. And days. The exhaust is a very heavy. So, everyone gets 500 exhaust. That's enough to kill an Arav and a Doc. So, that's very nice. But the Adrenaline Rush is very weak. Uh, it doesn't really do anything to anyone. So, yeah. If she did a bit more on a Rush, she could probably go to A tier very easily. But the fact she's just dazed to everyone. Um, and, yeah. It's just not enough to push into the next tier, in my opinion. And then we got Negan. Negan is very shite, in my opinion. Uh, it's follow-up, which is always nice. Uh, two attacks with 600% damage. Uh, which is good, and his weapon is an interesting one. If he gets splat, like hit back with payback, he doesn't take the damage. But the problem is, the team still does. So yeah, I don't think, considering he's a red, he's going to kill many people to make the follow up happen as much. So for that reason, he's going to be staying in B tier on the fact that red is not very dominant at the moment, offensively with power. So yeah, that's where uh, he's going to be staying for now. And then we got AJ, normalizing the active skill, pretty good. Have whatever weapon you want. The active skill, no, the adrenaline rush is alright, it does a lot of damage, but that's it. It's just damage on the rush, cutthroat is a mess, specialist skill, and yeah, the normalize isn't as good as people thought it would be initially. Uh, Doc Stevens, uh, widely available to everyone, uh, very accessible, but uh, yeah. He does 800 damage on attack. That's pretty much where he cut it off. Uh, he has hold the line, which isn't bad. Uh, it's not great either. And then we got um, the heal reduction recovery, which can be very good against Mateo and Trader teams. So overall, he's not great. If he had a bit more going on his rush and a bit more than you know hold the line, I think it would have been all right. But at the moment, he's just going to be chilling in the B tier. Um, and then we got A classes. Alright, so Dan from the future. I had to cut that recording in half because, um, yeah, a sign that came up. So, A tier. Um, Georgia, I'm going to go this very fast since uh, this video is already really long. So, Georgia, War Champions 3 Tomb, very limited. She, her stats are phenomenal. She's such a tank. She made uh, enemies lose control. Um, so uh, honestly, she's phenomenal. If she had a bit more going for the team, she'd definitely be in the S tier for me. But since she's more self, uh, you know, she only helps herself. It, that's where she lands. Uh, gentleman, simple. He hits like a truck, and he can kill two people um, with a single rush. Pretty simple. Uh, Arav, he can kill everyone in a line, and then he can go again, kill four people on one turn. His only weakness is Exhaust, and that's why he's on the S tier, is because Exhaust does screw him over it massively. Next, I have another free tune, phenomenal. Uh, that focus was heavily slept on from me, but uh, honestly, she's an absolute beast. And um, the rush isn't bad, but the leader scale, 40% attack, and all melee get a huge on 
attack it's phenomenal can knock it off uh shiva she's a payback already good bleed on the weapon very nice and then no she heals uh she recovers from all penalties on her active and then she can taunt people on a rush this is a good kit overall uh you know rosita she can hold a fast healing weapon plus that with bide it's very annoying um she has attack down and taunt on a rush. Um, you know, what can I say? She works well with Jackie and all those other characters, so she's great. Imani, um, same game pretty much. You red and green on her. I think it's uh, everyone gets 30% bonus HP. Uh, and red and green get huge on attack and maybe 40% uh, defense. I'm not sure about that. But regardless, the leader skill is phenomenal. The act. The active skill is fantastic, impairs everyone in the uh, second turn, I think. And then the rush is just meh, it doesn't really kill anyone. It's sort of what it is. P is the oldest S class, he's held his own for a very long time. His passive heals on his active skill, his recover, no, re uh, revive two on his rush. It's phenomenal. His weapon's alright, gives everyone like bonus 20% HP or something like that. Either way, he's great on attack and defense. He shines in all areas, so obviously he's going to be in the A tier. Um, Karian, elusive to everyone on turn one, and then 40% defense. Um, you know, it's it's his good start. Actually, is he is the defense. I don't know, but regardless, that elusive on um, you know on attack or defense can make it very hard for people to. Um, get rushes going and her adrenaline rush is very nice her active skill is meh but overall she's a solid character can't knock her it's a there frost human shield what can i say human shields are always gonna be good he's blue he can tank any crew and rival his rush he's good storm uh he has that dual specialist is ex it's decapitation and his uh execution so when you're at 20 percent hp you can tap them and they insta die and then they're not coming back. Plus, the massive amount of damage he does on his rush and confuse. He's got a good amount of attack and um, control. So, you know, can't really knock him either. Solid character. Um, next, Dylan. No people will have a little bit of an issue with this. But honestly, he, when he... Um, I think he has Headhunter. And when Headhunter gets a crit... And you kill that person, they stay down. So if you give him like a crit weapon or crit damage, like he's gonna hit like an absolute truck against greens like Rick, uh, Georgia, these really tanky tunes. So a bit under the radar, but I do think he's really good. His weapon might not be the best, but honestly, he is a solid character. Uh, Aaron, what can I say? Since he's got impair on turn two, and yellow and blues get 40% HP and defense, he's solid for a leader skill pretty simple uh same for lily uh blue and yellows get uh 40 percent no out of the 50 percent attack and um huge on attack so you know solid leader skill and for that leader skill alone you can make teams go fast it can be it can be a turn one team and for that reason it's simply got to be an eight here mercer you know i don't have to go into detail mercer is mercer mercer is phenomenal um his only downside is his leader skill doesn't give um any attack, defense, or HP. Otherwise, I'd put him up in the A tier. Um, next is Shane. Uh, Shane, I'll, I'm a bit iffy about, but if you have two of them on a the team, like it's gonna be super hard to kill them both. But one is sort of eh. The weapon has got an absolute defense already, so you know, solid character nonetheless. Next, we're going to the S tier. Alpha disarm, defense down, three attacks with 400 percent damage, and she buffs herself. Turn one. You know, she's a great character and. Debuffs will always be good in this game, and plus she's a powerhouse of greens, and that's not a very common sight. So you know, great character trader. I'm not even going to mention it. He should be in the tier above, but there isn't one. Priya, second S class ever, still on the teams to this day, mainly because of rampage. But her rush is phenomenal. Three three attacks, and they get impair and confuse. Oh, it's just a phenomenal rush. Princess, yet again, do, dare I say anything? normalized carries her plus her standard weapon is actually all right and she hits for 1000 percent damage to her line she she's the whole kit she's absolutely great uh, mateo he can infect four people turn one and after the third turn they will die he's great uh confounding so if they if he crits it confuses them so it's not bad as a little bit of uh control in there and his rush isn't that bad it gives days um heal reduction 
and something else, I believe. So, great kit overall. Can't knock him. Rick, he's an absolute tank. He's the only green that can hold an 8% weapon, which makes him highly valuable. He revives on his active. He buffs on his rush. He's amazing overall. Absolutely amazing. And then we've got Jackie. Jackie just came keeps getting better with time. Trader, Shane, uh, Imani. All these great reds are coming out. And Imani is a fantastic leader. No, um, Jackie is a fantastic leader for them. Um, yeah, her weapon's not great. But you, obviously, you can swap that out. Uh, her, well, when a rush goes off, you're not, you're not killing anyone. And, uh, you know, her active skill as well. It just gives them more defense, making them more and more tanky. Plus, she's an RNG lead with 50% HP to red and yellows. And then, obviously, uh, yeah, confused everyone for one turn. She's a fantastic leader that keeps getting better with time. And, uh, yeah, that's my tier list. Please leave your tier list in the uh, comments below. If anything you would change, please leave it in the comments. Remember, this is my tier list. Don't get upset. You're going to have a different one to me. And, uh, peace.